and you got a lieutenant in a white shirt takes his fucking baton and his eye poking her. Other officer comes at me, put my hand up, said, don't fucking touch me. And with a, you know, a quick jab. We'll see on the body cam footage is that I get assaulted. He's got a gun on me. Scott Fairlam, ladies and gents. Scott, what's going on, man? How are you? Hey, man, can't call it. Just out here uh, living in the free world. Living in the free world, which we're going to get is, into. Which is new. Is which something, is a change which, as yeah, of late. Which is uh, quite new. a quite new, new form of living for you, as it were. Yes, yes. No longer in the, uh, the concrete box. Yeah, Tell us about that, man. Life. Get, uh, give people a little background on you for the, those who don't uh, know you and know your story. Well, I'm a uh, political prisoner, 26840-509. Uh, I'm a my... political prisoner from Cuba. From yeah. Cuba, man. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I just recently uh, released uh, June 8th after doing uh, 28 months. Golly. 17 days, 11 months in solitary. Mm. Yeah. Back 11 out 11 months just... in solitary confinement. Fuck. Right. Wow. Yeah. That's uh, no way to live life, man. No, no. I couldn't do 11 minutes in my own closet. Yeah. Well, it either, I mean, it's either. Bitch, you've been doing 36 years in that motherfucker. Stop lying. <laughs> <laughs> That's a gay joke. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the best jokes are the ones you have to explain. Yeah. So, true. so yeah, you are, true. so now let, we're, we're kind of jumping the shark a little bit here. We're going to the end at the beginning. You were arrested during the January 6th. Um, What's it called? An insurrection? The insurrection. Yeah. The, Nobody charged with an insurrection. The incursion. Yeah. The what, what, siege what do we call of it? the capital. What do we call it? Yeah, it was a, it was a, a very polite display of disobedience. Mm. Yeah. Although Ashley Babbitt was murdered by the feds, who along, have never been along, charged. Along with a woman named Roseanne Boylan, who was uh, beaten to death. Is that right? Yeah. I yeah. was unaware of that. So on uh, Lower West Terrace, a lot of the, the uh, beatings occurred. Uh, now, she was the one that they said uh, overdosed on, uh, uh, what was it? Some fentanyl? kind of, yeah, fentanyl or something, but it was actually like. You know, so this is alleged because we can't prove it. Yeah, but I mean, well, yeah, allegedly I mean, the video doesn't beaten. lie when she's getting beat 35 times over the really? head. She yeah. was, there's video of it? Yes. I'm unfamiliar. I haven't yeah. seen it. They, I don't know if you know about the internet, but um, it's not exactly uh, open source anymore. Right. It's, well, that's it's, just it. It's well, curated. Along with the all the hours of evidence that they're withholding. Yeah, you know, that it, that is the that most itself is exculpatory for so many guys. I mean, you look what happened with uh, uh, the guy Jacob Chansley. Not that's that I'm, the uh, not that I'm a fan of the that. shaman, right? Yeah, he's a clown. But but whatever, he's whether well, he's well, a clown or he's not. About, well, why do you th why do you say he's a clown? Well, this is the guy who the first, he, we, he was one of the first people to flip and say Trump sent him there and Trump this and Trump that, and now he's jumping back on the bandwagon because it's a cool thing, and his candy ass is out of fucking prison. Uh. We had the same judge. We had the same judge. And, well, um, this is the judge. You had the judge then that is on the Trump, uh, the latest uh, Trump indictment. I don't know about that. Uh, Royce Lambert. Was, no, it's a different lady. Uh, apparently the lady who gave the most amount of jail time to, to everybody. January 6th. Yeah. Uh, you can look this up, Natalie. It, it's the Trump. And now this is the judge that is on the third Trump Chug indictment. Uh, Chudigan or something. Something. Uh, Chug and she's, she's an Obama Chuckin appointee. Yeah, that's close to it. All right. But I don't want to skip too far ahead because details are very, very, very important in this episode. You're talking about um, somebody got beat to death. There's there's video that shows it. Now, Jacob Chansley, for people that don't know, he did... He's a dude with the Viking helmet. Yeah, and, he was uh, he was uh, the shaman. Like, yeah. 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 Complete. Yeah. yeah. And, and they show video of him walking around, like, kind of talking to people, like, at... You know, he seemed like pretty polite. Like he was like kind of people, being escorted people through the building. Down. Yes, and and I, and not actually, but, they, but they hit all this shit. That's the point Correct. I'm trying to get at. Correct. So yeah. this and, man and, and did 36 months, I believe. Huh? I think he did 36 no, he months. Didn't. No, because no. I was sentenced. I got sentenced after him, and he was released before me. So he got released to a halfway house. But he got after released. His evidence came out. By My Tucker. understanding is he didn't even get released until that Tucker Carlson expose. Right, but that was months before I got out. And I was gotcha. sentenced before him, so there's no way he did more time. So what the, the big problem was is that you didn't, Tucker Carlson didn't cover your case? Is that the idea here? Or? Well, I mean, there was an assault involved in my case. I mm -hmm. mean, make no doubt about it. You see me punching a police officer in you the do. face. That'll you do. do it. And that, facial. That, yeah. Well, here, here's what now, it is. I, I, now, actually, I have my own theory, but I'd like to hear yours. I, I theorize because I, I know you. I've been punched in the face by him as well. Uh, in the gym <laughs> training, you know? Uh I don't even know if you remember. I remember one time he hit me and crushed me like in the nose. I was probably just like, you were just like, who's this fucking kid? Fucking hit me with a go one. <laughs> yeah, right? gotcha. I was like, Ooh, woke me up. It was like the smell of sauce. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I ended, so I saw the video. I assume that you were, because I know your heart, that you were kind of looking to protect the crowd. 
Right. You were looking so to be. You're you're a protector by nature, and you were kind of. You probably saw cops getting a little aggressive. It was crazy. And and it you know there's people would be like there's never a time to to like hit a cop. You could never do this. You never do that. We're you know we're taught that in a lot of ways, but. Sure. What if a fucking cop goes in your house and wants to go kill and uh, beat up your family? Yeah, fucking that's just rape. It. A co- every, they're just people too. Well, you know what I mean. It's better I, to be judged by twelve than carried by six, for sure. But right. that that is the process, kind of, you know, bearing itself out. Right. What is, is the process bearing itself out? Well, you got to go through when you do punch uh, a, a an agent of the government. The problem now becomes you have to go before yeah, no, the I knew, government. I knew he was fucked at that point. Yeah. I knew, I see, knew but that's where it gets, even, that's where it gets even crazy in itself because you see an agent of the government, right? Well, mm-hmm. this is a Metro PD officer sure. who is not hired by the government. That is a civilian career. Yeah. So technically, I'm not, I shouldn't have been charged with assaulting federal officers. On a federal... On a federal... It doesn't right. matter. They have jurisdiction over the Capitol. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't a cop... It wasn't a Capitol police officer. No. So this is what's even more nuts. All about my case, which they never showed... And I never got my evidence and all this other shit. How can they suppress evidence like this in America? It's It's insane. That's what's happening. That's what's happening. But when I did, was able to see all my shit and speak, um, there's four Capitol officers that were outside of the stoop that they were on and they were locked out. And they're getting fucking pummeled. They're getting shit thrown at them, getting getting beat up, this, that, the other thing. So I step up. This is 23 minutes before I, I assault this cop. So I step in, I, I, I break it off. I get everybody to fuck off them. I get some water bottles. I'm like, you guys want water? You want water? They're like, we can't. They got their gas masks on and shit, yeah, you right, know? Right. So they're like, we can't. So the one guy, he said, turns to his other three guys. And now, mind you, they're on this, like, three-step tier. I got the diagram right here at the Capitol. We'll have to show you where they were. But they literally said, can you take us out of here? Can you get us the fuck out of here? And I said, yeah, no problem. Get in a stack formation. They put arm on arm, shoulder on shoulder. I walk them around the front of the Capitol to their like leading officer, whatever he is, like you know, lieutenant or something. He's got a gun on me. Um, they're like, no, 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 you know, wow. giving a he's okay symbol, right? So I'm like, all right, cool. Two of them corroborated the story when they were interviewed. The other two just didn't happen to remember. But 23 minutes later, you know, Metro PD is marching through the crowd and they're they're jacking people up. They're Are they really? Me. Yeah. So what happened with me, and you don't see on the body cam footage, is that I get assaulted. I got a rib check with the baton. When I turn, and you see my instinct real quick, yeah, I'm talking shit to the cops going through, because I see what they're doing. So I'm telling them, are you a fucking American? Act like one. You know mm. what I mean? What are you doing? And then sure as shit, I get whacked. I, get, I take the shot in the ribs. My first reaction is throw the motherfucker, right? So I push him. He goes flying back. And to other, like, you know, Trump supporters, whatever it is, other officer comes at me. And he's coming at me aggressive. He's, I put my hand up, said, don't fucking touch me. That's when he smacks my hand down, and I hit him with a, you know, a quick jab. Mm. And then after that, that was, that was, that was it, man. Mm. That was it. Who, who, who do you feel like escalated the situation to the point of it was a protest, a lot of anger, months, months and months of frustration of being told you need to close your business, of stay in your house, you be obedient, but our guys can go out and march through the streets and riot and nothing can happen. Uh, clearly, and I don't care who you are at this point, you're blind if you don't see it's a two-tiered right. system of justice. It is. It's a membership has perks moment, Soviet-style moment, a very dangerous moment. Who escalated? Well, there was, in the crowd, no doubt, FBI instigators, agitators. That's where I'm emotions. getting at. You, you, you 100% were, you feel them. that way. You, you can, can see them. them. Talking in their in their uh, uh, in their scarfs, their earpiece, but dressed up in in Trump uh, gear, faces painted, and you'll see where they were strategically placed throughout those lower terraces. The lower West Terrace. If you look up anything from the lower West Terrace, you'll see some complete mayhem, complete mayhem. But it was all leading cattle to the slaughter. Mm. It starts with you know Ray Epps at the front at the front gate getting those getting those bike racks down. Then you got the guy with the megaphone that was also involved, leading people where to go. You mm. know what I mean? It was mm. it was it was fucking bottleneck death, man. Mm. You know, people got caught up in that, that were unarmed, had nothing going on. A, a female named Victoria White out of New York, who was represented by uh, uh, Joseph McBride, she had her face completely rearranged. Like I'm talking, she's getting her face beat in in that terrace, and she's stuck in there with nowhere to go. And you got a lieutenant in a white shirt takes his fucking baton and his eye poking her. 
I and get these it. are the guys I know, that were, I've seen this evidence because these, guys that I was with that locked up with in DC, I was able to get my hands on their evidence and we were doing a timeline of where on your evidence I'm gonna look from your your viewpoint and we're gonna find one guy that we think is somebody, right? Now we're gonna keep that in mind when I look at his evidence. Now we're gonna say, okay, red faced MAGA guy, mm. we're gonna watch him and we're gonna put a timeline together. So we did that with everybody in there. That's what we, you know, mm. they, they thought they were putting us in with a bunch of dummies. Everybody got together, you know? Yeah. And really started figuring shit out. We were like, this is a lot bigger than we ever thought it was. This, this you believe, was an orchestrated uh, Absolutely. event. Yeah. Now, I, 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 I mean, got a hard. question. What, what were, why did you go? Why did you go there that day? I went down there to, voice, to, to just have a voice. I feel like uh, freedom of speech has been so trampled on. I think that's one of the most important things is to have a difference of opinion and be able to voice it. 